Welcome back to the Life Recovery Devotional Series here on Rest Road Church. Today we are going over day 24 of step 3, Glorious Victory. Our Bible reading for today is out of Zechariah chapter 9, verses 9 through 12. 9 through 12. We made a decision to turn our wills and our lives over to the care of God. Yeah, we did. Our lives may be a battlefield. We may have been taken captive in the ongoing war between good and evil. When we turn our lives over to God, will he rescue us and keep us safe? 500 years before the birth of Jesus, the prophet Zechariah wrote these words, Rejoice, O people of Zion. Shout in triumph, O people of Jerusalem. Look, your king is coming to you. He is righteous and victorious. Yet he is humble, riding on a donkey, riding on a donkey's colt. This prophecy was fulfilled by the coming of Jesus. See Matthew 21, 4 through 11. I will remove the battle chariots from Israel and the war horses from Jerusalem. I will destroy all the weapons used in battle, and your king will bring peace to the nations. His, reg- his realm will stretch from sea to sea and from the Euphrates River to the ends of the earth. Because of the covenant I made with you, sealed with blood, I will free your prisoners from death in a waterless dungeon. Come back to the place of safety, all you prisoners who still have hope. I promise this very day that I will repay two two blessings for each of your troubles. Mm. Such a good passage. Jesus fulfilled part of these prophecies when he came the first time. He did deliver us from death by shedding his own blood to seal our pardons. When he comes again, as he promised, he will bring peace on earth. For now, we can take cover in Jesus as our refuge. When this war is over and Jesus is crowned King of Kings, he will repay all those who are his. Two blessings for every trouble suffered in the war. (laughs) In the battles of life, we can turn our lives over to God and have a strong, sure hope. When we give ourselves to God, he always gives back more than we gave. Yes, he does. I remember. The first time I gave my, I I remember when I gave my life to God and gave my will to him. It was the most profound thing ever. I gave my will over to him and he said, now we have work to do. And I said, what do you mean, God? And he says, you are going to be a vehicle for my word. You are going to be a vehicle for my message and for my my power to go forth and reach other people because I am going to use your testimony to reach those that nobody else could. And I said, now wait a minute, God. I'm no Billy Graham. And he said, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You don't have to be like these other people to still be of use to me, to still be used by me. All you have to do is say, yes, Lord, here I am, use me. And so now every morning I start my day with those words, yes, Lord, here I am, use me. Because I am blessed to serve the God of the universe. I am blessed to serve him and his purposes. And when we give, and when I give myself to him, he repays all of my faithfulness with his faithfulness, which is even more than my faithfulness could ever amount to, which is wonderful. God bless you guys. God bless you. I will see you guys again next time. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, sharing. I mean, supporting the ministry through a donation and even through even through monthly donations if you want. 
I've got I've got the uh, coffee link down below, and you can actually make a monthly subscription donation if you want. But thank you so much for your support. It's in Jesus' name that I pray for each one of you that you would be blessed and highly favored by the Lord. God, thank you, Lord. And thank you for, for coming and for witnessing and for watching. Take care of yourselves. Until next time.